Uh, spongy moth was actually originally introduced from Europe back in the mid-1800s uh, to start a silk industry here in America. Didn't work out so well for that, and the spongy moth escaped uh, and has been moving throughout the northeast and now heading south and west from here. We're having an infestation of spongy moths. So they start out as little caterpillars, and they're all over. Last year, we started getting the caterpillars and thought they were so cute, and then they turned into moths that laid lots of eggs everywhere. They were just eating the leaves, and they were killing the trees. Nobody knows what to do. we got to do something, you know. In, uh, I know putting pesticides on the uh, all over the trees is not good uh, for the environment. If we don't kill the caterpillars, they're going to create moths. Moths will create more eggs, which will then next year even be worse. And I don't know how our trees and our forestry here is going to survive that. A homeowner, uh, if they have spongy moth on their property, uh, there are a few things they can do, such as using sticky bands or burlap bags wrapped around the trunks of their trees. Uh, to catch the spongy moth as they crawl up and down the tree. I just think if it is up to us homeowners, I think as a community we all have to take care of our own trees. So if there's people with properties who aren't taking care of their trees and trying to kill the caterpillars on them, they're just coming, they're just continuing.